Welcome back, you guys. This is part two of Next Life versus Liquid Huck. Uh, we just saw a little bit of an engagement go down here, uh, where Next Life tried to deny the third of Huck, but did not accomplish that task, seeing as this third is now up and running. Uh, Next Life does have a third of his own coming up, though. Uh, on the production tab, he's not producing any more drones. I would like to see a little more saturation with this third. But, but he is preparing a lot more units to attack with. He does have his plus one carapace coming up. Um, he does have some pneumatized carapace coming up, so that's overlord speed. Might see some drops here coming up. Um, we also have Zerg flyer attacks and seven mutalisks coming out of the field. So I was thinking that he was going to be uh, sending out some corruptors to try to deal with those colossi, but he's actually coming up with some mutas to do some harassment on the mineral line. I, I like this move by Next Life. I think this is a very good move by Next Life. Uh, since he was unable to deny those uh, th that third or do any uh, economic damage directly, he's going to try to use Mutalisks, which are very, very good harass units. Mutalisks, not a very good unit for a direct fight, but um, excellent units for harassment and doing counterattacks very fast on the map. Next Life now just pushing up to the Zelnaga Tower, trying to keep vision here. Um, but uh, Huck has this observer, so he does see this force. He has seen that Next Life has mutas on the field. Uh, his Colossus are now coming onto the field, as well as the extended Thermal Lance. That is a range upgrade for the Colossus. Gives them a ridiculous sniper range and allows them to stay out of the range of roaches and other kind of other uh, shorter ranged units and just decimate ground forces really. Protoss shield upgrades coming up for Liquid Huck, actually. This is kind of an interesting move. I, it's, it, for some reason, it's not common that we see uh, the shield upgrades very much. It's very common to see attack and armor upgrades, uh, but shield upgrades we don't see too much. So that's kind of an interesting move by Huck. Um, Blink now coming up onto the field by Huck. Huck is now getting that Blink, going to get some Blink Stalkers. That is probably a reaction to uh, Next Life's Mutas. He saw Next Life has these Mutas on the field, and Blink is an excellent way of dealing with Mutalists, especially once they start harassing. Uh, blink Stalkers uh, do very well against Mutas. Attack Force here coming in by Next Life. He's got some Infestors here with a lot of energy. Uh, looks like six Infestors. He's going to try to attack the Natural, but that Colossus is going to prevent any kind of Zergling attack. These Colossus are just all over the field. Very well-placed Colossus uh, by uh, Liquid Huck here. These, these Colossus that are back, holding position. And uh, Next Life really needs to focus those Colossus. He is not focusing those Colossus at all with these Mutas. But he is doing a lot of damage. A lot of damage being done right now. Mute is chasing down those Colossus, trying to deal a lot of damage, trying to take out those Colossus kills to allow those Zerglings to do the kind of damage they want to do. Uh, but Next Life here is being forced to back out right now. Um, the Mutas are still scouting the base, trying to see if they can get some extra damage in, but those Photon Cannons there at the main are going to be enough to deny these Mutas any kind of damage. And Liquid Huck now pushing across the field. Next Life is way up in food count because he has been macroing up an army like crazy here. And uh, those Mutas really need to get in here to deal with these Colossus. These, are get these Colossus are just decimating the Zerglings. If we check out these Colossus, we have 35 kills on this Colossus and 18 kills on the other Colossus. These Colossus really need to go down. And there are now Corruptors on the field to deal with those Colossus. Excellent move there by Next Life. Colo uh, corruptors are the typical uh, counter to those Colossus, seeing as those Colossus cannot shoot up. Um, the, wow, a lot of overlords here getting taken out. That max supply of next life is really dropping down. Lots of lings streaming in. Uh, and the Colossus are down now, so these lings are able to do the kind of damage that they would like to be able to do. Uh, they are upgraded to 2-1 right now, meaning they're going to do huge damage against these uh, zealots. Adrenal glands now coming up. Excellent move. Uh, this is something I always like to do. I think I mentioned this before, but... Uh, Zergling uh, attack speed upgrades are really, really good against Protoss, which uh, Protoss units tend to attack a little bit slower. Uh, the, the Zealots and the Stalkers tend to have a slower rate of fire. The the uh, the attack uh, speed upgrades for Zerglings tend to just do them so very well. Was that Banelings I heard? I heard something coming onto the field. I heard, I heard something in the form of an egg. Ah, I guess it was just units morphing in. Um, I was thinking maybe some Banelings or maybe some... Uh, Oh man, I almost did Guardians. That's that's Brood War style for you. Not Guardians. Uh, Broodlords. Broodlords onto the field. But uh, Greater Spire is coming up, so we will see some uh, Broodlords here eventually. Just not yet. Man, so many bases being taken by Next Life. This is exactly what uh, Next Life needs to be doing. Next Life 
uh, is just expanding everywhere, and as uh, a lot of Zerg players know, interestingly enough, there are these larvae here. This hatch was up before, and it looks like uh, Huck was able to take it out. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, Zerglings coming in to try to do a counterattack here. Uh, on the main, looks like they are, yes, rushing into the main to try to do some damage here to the uh, tech structures of Huck. Uh, Huck warping in some zealots to deal with this, but these zerglings are actually doing quite a bit of damage. He needs to get these uh, zealots over here, because they are taking down the pylons that are powering these gateways, and that is going to stop production of Huck. Meanwhile, Huck is moving out with this little attack force, trying to prevent uh, more zerglings from streaming across the field. They are going to try to pick off that Colossus. Wow, that Colossus took so much damage quite fast from those zerglings. They got a good surround and did a lot of damage really fast. I'm actually really surprised at how fast that Colossus went down. Holy cow. These zerglings still doing a lot of damage in the main. He might actually get this gateway if he focuses it. No, but he didn't. He didn't quite focus it. He could have taken that, but uh, I guess the zerglings had done their job and uh, Next Life was not worrying about them. Food count's about even right now. Next Life 198 to Liquid Hux 181. Very close in food count. Um, these Blink Stalkers now moving out of the field. Very good move here by Liquid Huck. Um, Liquid Huck is very well known for doing these uh, Blink Stalker attacks where he gets that Blink and he just starts moving them around the field. He keeps uh, his slower units back and then he just moves out with his Blink Stalkers, snipes hatcheries and things, and just blinks out and blinks away. Broodlords are now on the field though. Nine Broodlords is a lot of Broodlords to have on the field. These are going to be able to do a lot of damage, uh, assuming these Infestors can hold back those Zerg units. The Infestors have done the Fungal Growth. Nice Fungal Growth there by Next Life, those are going to hold these units back and not allow them to get within range of these Broodlords and allow these Broodlords to just do massive amounts of damage, and that is what they are doing right now. Uh, giant engagement coming in here. Uh, the Stalkers have blinked in, and they are trying to do as much damage as they can to these Broodlords, but these Mutas are, there are so many Mutas here, they are doing a lot of damage to these Stalkers, the Glaive Worms of the Mutalists, which uh, are the, are what allow the, uh, the bouncing of the attacks of the Mutalists. The Mutalists doing a lot of damage to those Stalkers, but Man, just so many more Stalkers being warped in there by uh, Huck joining the fight that uh, he was just really not able to sustain that air attack. Just too many Stalkers on the field. Lots of Zerglings now streaming onto the field, and lots of Corruptors coming onto the field as well. Huck moving in here to take out bases of Next Life. This is not a good thing for Next Life, as Next Life is getting uh, completely mined out in, all his, in two of his bases, I believe. This one still has some minerals there, but he's stopped mining. Uh, Zergling's coming around trying to do a counterattack uh, on Liquid Huck, forcing Liquid Huck to pull his forces back. Uh, no, maybe not. Liquid Huck is just going to go for the attack, going to go for the kill. Um, he needs to be careful here, as there are now a lot of Corruptors on the field, as well as some Broodlords, I believe. Um, I don't know where they all are right now. Oh, man, they're all spread out. That is not a good thing. Uh, Next Life coming around the back trying to deal some damage to this Colossus, but this is a lot of Colossus here. Si seven Colossus here. These are going to do a lot of damage to any ground forces. And you get the WW from Next Life. Uh, uh, that The reason uh, WW came up, if, if ever you wanted to know, is uh, in Korean, since uh, they didn't have GG, they use uh, the Korean equivalent letter, um, which is mapped to the same key as W on the uh, American keyboards. So uh, a lot of times if Koreans have their keyboards in the uh, setup for current for both languages and they are in the uh, English format, they will accidentally hit WW instead of the Korean form of GG. So uh, that was a well-played game by Huck, just very, very nicely played with the Colossus and the Blink Stalkers was able to just continually deny these two forward bases of uh, Next Life and just really uh, Next Life was stuck at the end pretty much mining two bases and wasn't able to get up anymore. Huck meanwhile was expanding uh, all over the place and that was just was even, was keeping uh, Next Life even on bases with him and uh, that's just not where you want to be with Zerg. You always want to be a little bit ahead in the bases race. So uh, well played by Liquid Huck. GG guys, take care, subscribe, comment below, tell me what is it you'd like to see, what would you like to see in these videos to make them better, let me know. GG, well played, take care everybody.